Hi, welcome to AFTV. We've just been Aston Villa 2 0 here at Villa Park. Oh, a lot different from last season, but a, gr a great win today from Arsenal. 2 0 at Villa Park is a statement win. First of all, yeah, I want to say sorry to all the Arsenal fans and Arsenal in general. Why? Because, bro, I was in a, I was in a Villa end. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, I was, I was you singing, have to apologise for that. I was singing Villa till I die. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro. <laughs> bro, I had to, innit? You well, they're looking at you when they're so, saying, people looking at you on the you side. They're like, yo, yeah, I get, I get that. Saying. So, but at the end of the day, like, dude, this was a great game. I see my first game with my, my little brother, yeah. you know, um, and today was amazing. Like, I thought, I felt like the way we, we, we played was great. Mm. Obviously, Villa, I feel like Villa played better than us. But obviously, I didn't. Do you? Yeah, yeah I, feel, I feel like they played better. For the whole us. night, you were just in, in patches. Bro, like, these players, they, like, they had that like, Morgan, that, that yeah. Morgan guy, number 27. Yeah. He's crazy, bro. Yeah, he's, you know what he's saying? good. So at the end of the day, like we they play better than us, but we obviously at the end of the day, this, this is what title winners mm. do. You know, they come in, they score, yep. and we win games, and that's what it's all about. Mm. We came and we, we we came to Villa Ground and we conquered. So yeah, man. What was your feelings like when that goal went in from Chelsea? I'd love to know what because you had to hold it down, innit? So, so how did how did you do it, bro? I can't lie, like Jason. I, I had to act pissed. I had to... Hold the villa. So. I, 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 had to, I had to act pissed, but at the end of the day, you know what? He actually made it better for me because I didn't have to sing more. The whole, the whole stadium was quiet. I saw the Arsenal fans in the far end singing, oh, um, stadiums get empty everywhere we yeah, go, and yeah, all that yeah. kind of stuff. So, you know, it, it was better for me, but, you know, I had to, I had to, I had to celebrate in silence. Mm. But, yeah, man, it was good. It was a good game. And when Chosso scored, I, literally, I thought, Martin is one of my favourite players. But I don't know what's wrong with him, man. Yeah, he hasn't started. I, I love Martin. I think a lot of fans do, but he hasn't started the season. It looks like he started it very well. Do you think Trotter deserves to be starting the next game, or do you do you still stick with Martin until you play him into form? I'll be honest. For me, I'd I, I personally sign like someone like Nico Williams. We need we need someone who can play left and right. Someone yeah. that, that can challenge Saka, but also can also play on that left. Mm. Because Trossard, he's proven he doesn't. When he starts, he's not like he's not there. Yeah, yeah. But when he comes on and, and he does all them touches after after Martin and tired him out, mm. he, he he comes in and he, that's where his pace really shows. He's not really a pacey player, mm. but you can even see today when he come on. The, the, their right back couldn't keep up with him. Yeah, facts, you know facts. what I'm saying? And, that, that, and that's how it goes. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally start Chosa. Mm. Are you, are you worried for Brighton? Next week? They, they, they beat, they won two games now. They beat United. Does that make you feel worried, or you think we should be able to do them at home? The thing is, like Brighton, obviously they're scary position sometimes. You know, yeah. a couple of years ago they, they, they stopped our Champions League like yeah. hopes and everything. So at the end of the day, we might take their, their player, Adingra. Mm. We might, we might, we might sign. You like player. him, yeah? He's, he's a, he's a great player. player. But personally, I still I still prefer Nico Williams. But I'm not really scared of Brighton. Mm. I, same way, I'm not really scared of Man United. Yeah, they, they beat Man United today. But who are Man United these days? Then, bro, they're not. Man United can't. They, bro, they can't chat to can't us. Bro. Chat to us. They can't chat. They're signing all these players, delict all these. <laughs> bro, that's 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 what we was doing Way years back, ago. Yeah. We were signing Pepe for 72 million, getting gassed. Word. But no, bro, it doesn't mean anything, man. It's about systems, and that's what Arteta's brought into the into the team. You know. Yeah, We've got a very special guest in the house, Josh Richardson, NBA player who plays for the Miami Heat. Who would you be in the Arsenal team? Ben White. So you got that little nice streak. Yeah, to I got. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably better a better scorer than Ben White. Like I like to shoot a lot of threes. Yeah. Dio Walcott. <laughs> this guy is a burner, and I'm like, <laughs> yo. I, turn, I was like, bro, bro. <laughs> Theo Walcott is sitting right behind us. <laughs> and they're like, who is that? And I'm like, nah, no. you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. Worst record in the NBA last season? Uh, maybe like Portland Trailblazers. Portland, so that's Tottenham, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was a setup.